Hi, welcome to my lecture on labels and system calling um, where you can print strings. I'm not going to show all the different types of system calls, but I will, I'll just be focusing on printing strings. So the first thing that we want to start with is we want to look at a label called data. And then underneath that, we're going to make another label and we're going to call it Bob. The reason why I'm calling this Bob is to show you that you can call it whatever you want. I I was very confused at first when, um, when I was taught to call my labels STR. I thought that was uh, something that you were you had to do, but you can call your labels whatever you want. And in this case, I'm calling it Bob. And I'm going to make Bob an ASCII string. So to make an ASCII string, I'm going to type in dot A-S-C-I-I-Z. ASCII string. And if you're using Mars, it shows you what, um, what, what you type and what kind of function or what kind of label that is. And in this case, it's an ASCII label. And then we're going to use two quotation marks, uh, double quotation marks, not single. And then we're going to say, we're going to type in, my name is Bob, with a period. Now, what we want to do with this is, we have a label, and it's called Bob. And inside the label Bob, we have a string that says my name is Bob what we want to do is we want it to be we want it to print out now to make it print out we need we need to put it into the syscall and do some manipulations and but the first thing we should do is we should try to get our string Bob into the register a0 and that's because when we do a syscall when we do a syscall 4 which is print um, print string it'll print whatever is in the register a0 so I'll just show you how to do that so first we load the address not load immediate but load the address uh, of str I sorry Bob and we put it into a0 okay and then we load immediate v0 with 4 and then we do a syscall and like always we do a load immediate v0 10 and do a syscall so what does this do First, we're going to load the address of Bob into A0. Then we're going to syscall, we're going to do a syscall 4. And what a syscall 4 does is whatever string is in A0, it'll print out into our uh, command prompt or our mess messenger. So let's run this code and see how it works. Okay, so I'm going to run assemble and I'm going to go step by step. So the first thing that's going to happen is we're going to load the value, um, load the data into, into our data segment. And if you notice, I didn't even run the first step, but the data segment already has our string in it and if you go through this and unscramble it and make all of these hexadecimal values into characters it will tell you that it will say my name is Bob right now it's just in hexadecimal values so you can't really see it now I'm gonna click on the first step and what it's gonna do is it's gonna load the address of Bob into a0 so if you watch A0 right here, it should change. So if you notice that, it the value of A0 changed into the address of the string Bob. 
Now this might be a little confusing, but don't think that the value of Bob is going into A0. That's, that's not right. What's going into A0 is the address of Bob. So we can think about it like this way. In a neighborhood, we have many different houses and there are many different addresses. If you call a house by an address, that's not the house itself, that's just the address of the house. In the same way, we are just using the address of our string Bob. So now in A0, we have the address of Bob, and then we're going to load V0 with the value 4 and v0 should have a value of 4 and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna print it out and here it is and it prints out my name is Bob and right here I ran it a, a second ago and again I'm, I just ran it right now and here's the second time it's printing out and when I click again it should uh, it should change the value of v0 into 10 and here's the value of v0 and it's 10 and remember it's hexadecimal a a is 10 and if I run it one more time the program is finished running now let's go back into our code and let's understand some a uh, few things the first thing is once again I'm gonna say that we're putting the address of Bob into A0 then we're going to call a syscall 4 and whatever value is in A0 is gonna be printed out so let's just test that with something else let's make someone called Steve we're gonna make another label called Steve and we're gonna give it the ASCII string value of sorry that should be a period and we're gonna say that my name is Steve and not Bob this time so we have Bob and Steve now what I wanna do is I'm gonna load the address of of Steve into the register T1 so or T0 since I haven't used in T0 yet it's better if I use T0 so I'm gonna load the address of Steve into uh, register T0 now remember these are case sensitive so if S is capital here S needs to be capital here now once that's complete what I wanna do is I want I wanna print out my name is Bob then right after that I wanna print out my name is Steve now I'm going to make a space right here so it looks a little bit more neater so now remember if I what's gonna happen is and we know that uh, MIPS is a line by line code so this loads the address of Bob into A0 this loads the address of Steve into T0 and this gives it a syscall 4 which will print whatever is in A0 and right here the value in A0 is the string Bob so my name is Bob is going to print out so I wanted to print out my name is Steve after it prints out my name is Bob so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna load immediate the value uh, 4 into v0 again and do another syscall what this will do is this will once again print the value of a0 into our prompt but the va what's inside a a0 is still bob so i need to change that into steep so i'm going to say move a move into a0 the value of t0 and that should work perfectly 
So now the value of T0 is into A0 and when I do a print it should say my name is Steve. So let's run this and see how it works. So we have into A0 we have the address of Bob and it's going to print out my name is Bob and then after that to A0 we should have a different address so and here we have a different address now and this should say my name is Steve and as we run it there we go it prints out my name is Steve and then as I keep going the value of B0 changes into A which means it's a syscall 10 or it means that the value of VA is 10 and with one or two more clicks it should end the program and that's all there is for this segment thank you for watching please leave any comments uh, if you liked my videos please leave a like if you needed any more help or additional videos please send me a message and I'll see what I can do thank you